Hey everyone, so today I'm going to do a product review video on the Lancome Color Design Eyeshadow Palette in Taupe Craze, which is number 100. I have never tried anything by this brand before. This is my first experience with it. I was at Sephora and I wasn't planning on buying anything and I was walking around and they had palettes out for display. The way the light hit this palette it drew me right in. I went over there and I was like, what is this? So I picked it up and I looked at it and I swatched it and I said, this is beautiful. And so I looked at the stock underneath and there was one left. And I said, I think this is a sign. <laughs> so with the sales tax, it came to $51 and I got home and I had a little bit of buyer's remorse because I wasn't planning on spending any money that day. And I thought, oh, you know, I shouldn't have, I shouldn't have bought that. I really don't need any more taupe eyeshadows, but I used it for the first time today and I have it on and I love it. I do not regret it whatsoever. And I would definitely buy more products from this company in the future now that I've had such a nice experience with this one. So let me show it to you. So it comes in, you know, a compact and it has a, a pretty decent size mirror on it and you get five shadows. This right here is a light peach base shadow and the way some people apply their makeup, they put a base shadow on first, like instead of an eyeshadow primer and then they put all the shadows on top of that. I myself don't like doing it that way. I've tried it and from what I can tell all it does is mute the colors of the shadows. So I would prefer to use, you know, an eyeshadow primer which I normally have been using MAC Painterly Paint Pot lately, but you know, sometimes that changes. So anyways, that you get that peach that base shadow and that's what that looks like. And then let me change this around. No, I think it's better off doing it the way I had it. Okay, so then you get this shadow right here, which is the one that would go on your lids. That's the way I applied it anyway. And it's this just beautiful shimmery taupe. And it's just the right amount of shimmer. It's not over the top. It goes on very silky and smooth. I really like it. Then you get this nice brown color right here for your crease and it's just the right shade of brown it's not too light it's not too dark it's very easy to blend just the right amount of pigmentation and then you get this highlight color right here which is a lighter shimmery taupe and I thought oh no this is this is not going to work this is going to be too shimmery to use for a highlight but once you put it on and you blend it into that area, it actually, I think, looks very nice. Then you get this shimmery dark brown color to use as a liner. But once you apply it, um, you can't really see the shimmer in it. It actually works really well for a liner. So that's what I have all along my lower lash line there. So I like the fact that every shadow applies differently depending on what its purpose is. I like the way the colors all tie in together. They work well with each other and I think this palette is absolutely worth what I paid for it and I'm very happy with this product and I think I will be trying more products by Lancome in the future. So um, if there's anything that I forgot to cover or questions that you have, please feel free to ask in the comment section. And that's it for today, you guys, and I'll see you next time. Bye.